Go on. Does this mean what we think it means? I'm leaving. Chris is taking you back? Um, pretty much the opposite. So I guess I'm done here. Robert, I'm sorry. No, you can't go, not like this. Vic's right. You can't be making these kinds of decisions when you're upset. But I'll give you a call in a couple of days when I've figured out the next move. What? So you're going to go without even saying goodbye to Andy? You seemed so positive earlier. Do you want to talk about it? I've messed up. It's over. She's made that pretty clear, so I don't really think there's much left to talk about. Chat something through. You all right? I've had better days. I'll be in the bar if you need me. Maybe you can try where we've failed. Persuade him to stick around. Do some good for once. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. I don't believe it. This is all my fault because of what I did to Alicia. Hey, I promise you, none of this is your fault, all right? I've pushed Mum to the brink. I saw what she was going to do to you with those petrol cans. She's lost it and it's all because of me. There was never any petrol in that can. She was never going to hurt me. You didn't know that. Maybe she needs help too. Well, she's angry, that's all. She's, she's just trying to scare me. Why? What have you done that's so bad? I mean, for Mum to do something like that... ...can't have been worse than what I did. Well, I, I've, I've made some mistakes too, and... ...you know, now it's time for me to move on. Don't go. Your mum loves you more than anyone else in the world, you know that. She loves you too, I know she does. I'm sorry, Lachlan. I just don't think she's gonna be able to forgive me. So that's it then? You're just gonna give up? And I thought you actually wanted to be with us. I do. I do, Lachlan. I can't. I can help fix whatever's happened. <sighs> I wish it were that easy. <laughs> First my dad, now you. I mean, I should have known better with him and his promises, but you. You're the closest thing to a proper dad that I've ever known. And now you're just going to leave me too. scared out of our minds. Why are you doing this? He's got it in his head that our problems are his fault. And I know. It couldn't be more wrong. I've told him. Except wherever I go, everything gets messed up. Well, life's messy, mate. We're only here because of me. Now it's all starting to fall apart again. <laughs> I swear I shouldn't be allowed around people. What about the people who love you? Like who, Mum? You're stuck with me. Dad got away when he could. No, your dad's an idiot. A coward who runs away at the first sign of trouble. He doesn't deserve you. He never has. You're already twice the man he'll ever be. What about her? I saw what she was going to do to you. I, I, I was never going to hurt him. I, I was just being stupid. It, it was all my fault. No. Tell him the truth. It was my fault. Not your mum's and definitely not yours. I've, I've hurt your mum and that's all on me. I mean, your mum knows if there was anything I could do to change that. But you're still going, right? I'll, I'll still be there for you whenever you need me. I'll be there for your mum too. I'm not Donny. <laughs> it's funny. I really thought this would all work out. Well, we can talk about that. Uh, we, can, we can talk about anything that you want. Just not here, mate. Not like this. Come on.
I know it's early, but I feel wiped out. I might go to bed. I'm just going to watch the end of this. OK. Robert, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't find it easy just forgiving and forgetting. But I, I am going to try. Hi. You OK? Yeah. Just came down for a drink. How are you feeling? Fine. I feel fine. I'm gonna go to bed, but if you need anything or you want to talk... I know. OK. Night. So? Yeah? Sounds like you're staying. Well, that was easier than I thought. Don't. I think thanks is the word you were looking for. <sighs> thanks, Lachlan. You were right. Worked out exactly like you said. Yeah? Well, maybe it takes a halfway adolescent to come up with a crazy idea like that. And by the way, don't underestimate your mum. It's not over yet. Don't underestimate me either. I stuck my neck out for you on this. And we both got what we wanted. Except I got some stuff that I didn't want. They're talking about more counselling. Plus everyone's looking at me like I'm going to top myself at any moment. Well, you didn't really think it through then, did you? <laughs> What's funny? It's just pretty reckless when you stop and consider. You owe me. So? Yeah, it was good. It was useful. What did you think, darling? Yeah, she talked a lot of sense. We went in together and then I left Lucky and the counsellor to have a little chat. Good. Good. Where's Robert? Upstairs. I'm packing. Hey. Fancy paintballing later? Robert's up for it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, we may as well use the damn stuff. Dad. What? <laughs> We've had a lot of cancellations. Yes, because of Alicia and that stupid post, but Lucky doesn't need to know that. Oh, oh of course. I'm uh, sorry. In fact, the less he knows, the better. <laughs> so, how'd your session go? What do you think? Well, the good news is we're all going paintballing later. Yeah, and the bad news is... I still haven't got my laptop back. Well, then ask your mum. I did, she said no. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? Talk around. <laughs> yeah, right. If it wasn't for that little stunt we pulled in the barn, you wouldn't even be here. We're just talking about his counselling. Yeah, it was all pretty positive. I think we got a lot out of it. Mm. I'm just going to get changed. Laptop. And I'd like it by today. I didn't mean to land you in it. Yeah? Well, you did, and she's not budging. Maybe. You should try and persuade her. She's your mum. Respect her wishes. Oh, you mean like we did yesterday? Dead respectful, that. Listen, I will not be threatened. You try living without your laptop. Fine. You can use mine. But only for an hour. And I'll be watching your every move. Still not the same as having my own, though. 59 minutes. Know what you could do? Yeah. I could come clean to your mum, then guess what? She'll chuck me out of my ear. Then that whole stunt we pulled was all for nothing. 58 minutes. How long before you take the hint? You're not welcome here. And how long till you take the hint? Nothing you say interests me. Yeah, well, perhaps this will. Huh? We've had this conversation. No, 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 no. This is a new check. I've taken everything on board and I've amended it accordingly. Hmm. It's 50 grand less than the other one. Yes. And every time you throw it back at me, the price will go down. I'd snap it up if I were you. I know why you're so desperate to get rid of me. To protect Chrissy. Oh, you can tell people that, but the real reason is you're jealous. Because I wouldn't touch you. Don't be ridiculous. I remind you of your sad, closeted life. You wanted me, that's why I got the job. It's pathetic. Well, you watched me, followed me around, but were too scared to do anything about it. And if you had, I'd have just laughed in your face. Why are you saying that? Because he's twisted, Lucky. You should know that by now. No, I used to think you were okay. More like a dad than my real one, but it was all an act. Lachlan, mate. I... I'm not your mate. Nobody wants you in now. Get out! I got your text. 
Stay away from us. Oh, you got me here just to say don't come here. Why can't you just leave us alone? Do you want the truth? No, I want another one of your lies. Look, I know it's my fault. I screwed it up. I still think of you as family. Yeah. But we're not your family. And I'm gonna make sure Mum never has to see you again. You understand? What are you doing with these? Picked up my granddad's prescription. Not it's anything to do with you. Well, I'm gonna be back tomorrow. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Have you seen? It's all over Twitter. Mum, what's happened to you? Why is he here? I'm looking after Mum. Thank God you're home. I couldn't reach you. Hey, get out. Not now, Lawrence. Yeah, crawling out of the wreckage unscathed, as usual. Although I don't know why you thought you could crawl back here. I said not now. Look, I want you to go to your room. Uh, we just need a moment. Why? Will you just, just go? You're not hurt, are you? She's just a bit shaken. I didn't ask you. I did it. B what do you mean? D did what? The whole thing, it was, it was my fault. It was all my fault. Well, Chrissy, don't. I burned his car. I set it alight at the scrapyard. You were at the scrapyard? What's that got to do with the crash? Because the, the fire spread. There were some containers with gas in them or something, I don't know, and then um, it blew up and people died. And now then the people are dead. Because of me. Well, I'd left my car there. I was walking into the village with my wife, having a bit of a Barney, if you must know. We're not having the best of times. I've been tensions. So I was getting it with both barrels. We were halfway to the pub and then the yard went up. That's the only thing I've known to shut her up mid-flow. <laughs> so you have no idea what could have caused the fire? I know whatsoever now. Uh, kids maybe mocking about. You know what? Can we do this another time? Um, you know, I've just lost my aunt and uh, no one's had much sleep. I appreciate it's not easy, but we do need to speak to you and your wife as well as possible. You'd be amazed how even a few hours can impair memory of an event. Uh, she uh, took a couple of sleeping tablets. I'm afraid they knocked her right out. Well, as soon as she's able. Yeah, and if we think of anything, we'll let you know. I appreciate that. Sometimes it's the smallest details that help. Why is he even here? Look, just keep your voice it's down. Smarming around like he owns a place. Why's mum kicked him out here? <sighs> Things are a bit. Um... Complicated. Seems pretty simple to me. He's a lying, cheating snake. Yeah, well, he's the least of our problems right now. I'm not an idiot. I know something weird's going on. You might as well tell him. We're all gonna have to pull together on this. She's not ill, is she? <sighs> We're trying to protect your mother. She did something very silly. She set fire to my car, and there were gas canisters about. This is her fault. It's nobody's fault. It was just a stupid accident. That's all. He should have replied by now. He's probably just searching for the right words. I mean, it can't be easy admitting you tried to kill your granddad. Should I send another email? No. Not like a concerned dad one, you know, I'm worried about you. Can't be that bad. He said, I love you at the end of it. That might scare him off. If his dad's never said it before, then he's probably going to think something's up. That shows how much you know. I'm sick of keeping secrets. The truth is, I shot Grandad. Yes, we got him. 
And here's the proof. And I don't get it. And I shot dog. That's right, Dad. The truth is I want to be a photographer because I love shooting things. I'm gonna kill you. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, no well, like you tried to kill Lawrence? I didn't. There's a name for men like you, you know? Groom young children on the internet pretending to be someone else. Oh, please. The only interest I've got in him is making sure he gets sent down. I haven't done anything. That's right. And no one can prove otherwise. He could be flying halfway around the world right now with nobody there to meet him. Oh, so his dad's not in Thailand? No! Well, where is he then? This has got nothing to do with Donny. This is... This is about you sinking to a new all-time low. I suppose Bernice's pathetic apology was to do with you as well. Luckily, I know my son and I know when something is wrong. Oh, yeah, well, something's wrong if he's that desperate to get away from you. I'm not. I just wanted to see my dad. And I know that you miss him and this is what they use to try and manipulate you. Oh, my. Why are you defending him when he shot your dad? That was we know you set him up because he cheated on you. Yeah, you should be used to that by now. I don't care who he slept with, but trying to kill my father is something I will never forgive. Oh, do you hear that, Lachlan? She's never going to forgive you. If you keep throwing accusations around, I'm going to call my solicitor. Do it. You're going to need him anyway. I mean, look at Lachlan. Look at him. He's unravelling. He was desperate to confess. It's only a matter of time before he does. We're leaving. Fine. I'll uh, tell the police where to find you. Well, you're not seriously going to call them. I should have done it straight away, but I thought I needed evidence. Turns out, I don't. They're coming for you, mate. Let's see how long you last under interrogation, eh? We're closed for lunch. Yeah, for longer. Something happened here. <laughs> <laughs> if I could shoot my own granddad, what about someone I actually hate? Yeah? Got any more emails off your dad lately? The funny thing is, those emails are nothing, seriously, nothing, <laughs> compared to the lies your mum's been spinning you about him. Yeah, you'd say anything now. He banished suddenly, didn't he? <laughs> it's very strange. Except here's the thing. He owed a ton of money, your dad did. Not so much that your mum or your rich, pompous granddad couldn't have helped him out. I mean, one less pair of shoes for your mum. But enough to make him unpopular with the kind of people you'd rather stay friendly with. What has this got to do with anything? So, your mum finds out, like she finds everything out, because she's a she-devil, and she decides she doesn't like him spending time with you, or she's bored of him telling the same stories or whatever. So, you know what she did? <laughs> Ask me. Ask me what she did. What? See, I knew you were interested. She lent him the money to stop his constant whining, but then got a mate to steal it back off him. So he showed up with empty pockets. <laughs> Must have been hilarious. She set him up. And dear daddy, he was never heard of again. I guess she mustn't have found the right moment to mention it to you, eh? Have a nice day looking. Twice in one day. Lucky you caught me. I was about to take a soak in the bath. We're in the middle of the day. You're welcome to join me. Or is that too racy for your new boring lifestyle? Might be for Chrissy's. Like I said, no one's back for hours. Yeah, well, I doubt we'll need that long. I hope you're not losing your touch since you came out. Maybe I can help with that. Thank you. For what? For proving I feel absolutely nothing for you. So why did you come back? To tell you that I thought about your offer. And? I'm gonna pass. Let me guess. You're a one-man man. I think they call it loyalty. You should try it. You made a load of promises like that to Chrissy once. How did that work out for you? Well, it turns out Chrissy was a blood-sucking parasite. It's my fault for marrying her for money. Got into bed with the wrong sister. I could have given you it all. Still could. Yeah, well, sleeping with you is too easy. We did enough of that when me and Chrissy were together. No 
No, I'm gonna make her suffer way more. So cheating on her with her own sister and then your boyfriend, that wasn't enough for you? I don't feel sorry for her. She deserves everything she's got coming. Robert, wait. One last kiss. Show there are no hard feelings. Well, then that's it. You're gonna leave Aaron out of it. You have my word. I'm, I'm sorry. Just, you don't do it for me anymore. You know, Aaron's gonna be here any minute and we've got to be somewhere, so... I've really come to apologise. I'll keep my hands to myself, I promise. Next stop, world domination. We make money. And you get to wear neon. What a time to be alive. I'm not hearing that apology, Bex. Sorry. I was insensitive. Wasn't expecting you to be quite so spoken for. Well, clearly. I hope he knows how lucky he is. Well, I know I am. Ah, oh, OK. Enough. I want the smart mouth cynic back, please. Are we good? Well, I suppose you did go to the trouble of returning my car. <laughs> Finders keepers. Never happening. You can't blame a bloke for trying. Can't blame a girl either. See you soon. I know you're doing her. I was talking to her. You know the bit you tend to skip, hence the need for all that therapy? I heard you at home. You're trying to turn Rebecca against us. She's a good person. Better than you. Don't go near her again. I'm sure. All you have to do is confess. I can make stuff happen. I can make stuff so bad you'd be begging me to stop. It's terrifying. I've got all the messages. You pretending to be my dad. And I've still got counselling. If I said something, they'd have to tell the police. What about how you gunned down Lawrence? About how my gay stepdad just wouldn't leave me alone. That's why it all happened with Alicia. I... I didn't know any better. Well, you really think you could pull that off? I learnt to lie from the best. I'll never believe you. Believed your boyfriend. Tell me, how long does his dad get again? 18 years. Hurry! All he has to do is leave us a... You're threatening me, threatening me, right? You open your weird little mouth to anyone and I swear to... He's just a kid, all right? It's, a... it's all right. Leave Rebecca alone. I will do it. You know I will. It's all right. It's over. I won't talk to her again. So I know you think I don't want this after what I said the other day, but I didn't mean it how you thought I did. And... Well, anyway, I, I just, I want to marry you. Will you marry me? Forget what I said. You do need to think about it, like, a lot. We'll run a mile if I go over the top. You know we're near the top. You know that thing you said this morning about him and your future? Just say that, because that might actually get you a yes. All right. Yeah. You do know we've actually got a bedroom now, don't you? Yeah, and <laughs> half your family in a pub full of people. <laughs> Still stinks in here. Careful, eh? You're starting to sound like a romantic. What? 
Da ist noch Sinn. What? Have I done something wrong? No, no. Aaron! Where are you going? Aaron, what is it? What? There's a teenager in your boot. Yeah, I know. I thought you changed, Robert. Abducting people's bad, Robert. Well, yeah, yes, but he's a, a sick little liar. Who won't have to lie about anything anymore because we're gonna be up for kidnapping. Work with Ryan, didn't it? And you gave me hell for Ryan! Hang on, I did this for you. <sighs> Come on, I can think of better gifts. So what now, Kane? Well, we teach him a lesson, don't we? No spot. What, we're gonna ramble him into submission? Get the gun. You have brought the gun? No, Aaron. I forgot the gun. I was too busy sharpening my machete. I'd be gutted to be you right now. Things are going to get a lot worse, mate. You know, tying the legs together is kind of key. Yeah, well, I forgot I was with the expert. Yeah, well, the expert reckons we're both getting arrested unless you catch him. I'd be glad to be you, because things are going to get a lot worse. Right. What are you doing? You're a psycho! You're a psycho! You were going to kill me! No, you only you wanted to scare you. Uh, only. I know what you did to Alicia and how you made her feel. You don't get to hurt anyone else and walk away, and you don't get to lie about him and walk away. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Do you want to go for Come on, come on, let's go. What's funny is you protecting him when he's hooking up with Rebecca. You know what it's like? It's the truth. He cheated on my mum with her way before you. It's been going on for ages. I'm not sleeping with her. Why do you look so guilty then? It did happen four years ago. So what, you've had both of them? I'm not proud of myself. It got more serious with Chrissy, so I ended it with Rebecca. And you didn't tell me any of this because... She's in the past. Yeah, but she's back now. You know why she's back. What Lachlan heard, that was Rebecca trying it on with me. I turned her down. She doesn't come close. No one else comes close. Right, OK. Yeah? Yeah. So what do we do with him now? Just drive around for a bit, let him stew. I cannot tell you how pleased I am to hear you say that. Uh, you are going to love tomorrow, I promise you. Okay, great. I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Shift, will you? I need the computer. It's got the CCTV recordings. So. Not anymore. Uh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. I took a look at the footage that you asked me to, and there was nothing to see, so I deleted the files to make more room. See? He's already on it. Okay. Well, uh, don't get too comfortable, because the hospital's rang and Grandad's coming out. Already? Are you sure? Well, the doctors are dead set against it, but you know what it's like. So you can bounce. 
I said you were going to call and cancel. Well, guess I changed my mind because everything was going fine. Hey, are you OK? I just saw Nicholas. She told me what's happened. I am so sorry. This is a disaster. No, this isn't your fault. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Well, Lachlan said he was going to pull the plug. I, I should have made sure. You should have done as you were told. Well, I didn't crash the car. I knew he wasn't well enough to leave the hospital. Does anyone know where he is now? Yeah, he's upstairs, but he's in a... He's in a state. Right, I'm taking you to get that ankle checked out. It's OK, I'll take her. Oh, well, that's great, but I've got an event I'm supposed to be prepping for tomorrow. Doubt I'll be able to do that now. Well, when it comes to you being out of pocket, I will cover your loss of earnings. It's the least we can do. Come on, let's get you out of here. Who are you spying on? What do you always like behind closed doors? I'm not spying on anyone. Thanks. So the blood test results should take a few weeks. So how is he? We'll get to the bottom of whatever it is. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. So maybe now you'll stop worrying. I'm going for a walk to clear my head. Well, that sounds promising, I suppose. Yeah, I'm glad. Are you? Or was this the perfect way for you to worm your way in here? Lachlan, please. I've got enough on my plate without you making things worse. You won't have a go at someone, have a go at your mum. Right, she's the one that left Rebecca to cope on her own. I'll be in the office. I'm sorry, I just snapped. No, no, you had every right. But things will get better. You'll see. We're gonna find out what's wrong with Dad once and for all. I can feel it. You any idea how rare a mix-up with a blood test is? How could I? Okay, well, very. Practically never happens. In fact, there's more chance that someone's deliberately tampered with it. Have you been trawling the net again? You're telling me that you don't think it's a bit of a coincidence that there's a fire alarm, all right, not even a drill, on the same day as the mix-up. Oh, the world is full of conspiracy nuts and people in need of fake drama. Don't give them the oxygen. I'm just saying it's worth thinking about. You doing okay? Uh, three texts today and I'm still fine. Thank you for asking. Good. Oh, uh, g and I take it the blood results came back okay then? Uh, there was a mix-up, but he took them again today. And I'm feeling a hell of a lot better, so I thought I'd treat myself. Oh, that's great news. Uh, for you. Doesn't mean we shouldn't think about the future, though. Well, what about the future? The small investor that Rebecca's found for her own farm. Oh, yeah, you need to make sure they're vetted properly. You can't be too careful nowadays. I'm not betting anyone because no one is investing. I'll make back the money we've lost. We don't need outside help. Dad. Rebecca, I've indulged you all week trying to push your will on me. Now, that's it. I've no intention of inviting investors, so that's an end of it, huh? I need to see you immediately. <laughs> Someone's in trouble with the Lord of the Manor. You always stick your nose in other people's texts. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> 170, mate. You need to go and see your granddad, all right? Because he's in a state. Well, I've been really busy of late, if you haven't noticed. It's been constant. Oh, Twitter. Yeah, well, I was just checking up to see what the other salons were posting. Was it about a needy boss who wouldn't leave them alone for two minutes because she's got nothing better to do? That wasn't very nice. Seriously, you've been driving them crazy. What? Who, who said that? Well, I'm not going to snitch. But you should make some time for Grandad, OK? If you're at a loose end. OK, let's get a look at you. You're not actually that bad. I know about you. And your big booze up sesh with Lawrence. It wasn't a sesh. Well, according to Rebecca, it was. Well, she's exaggerating. Well, you just sit there and enjoy your black coffee. Just get up there and see him. Because there's some people around here that might want to take advantage. I wonder what you were out to do. That's okay here, isn't it? It's a bit creepy. I mean, can't you find somewhere where we don't have to look at it? And that's the same about you. Can we not argue, please? Problem? Uh, it's Mum. She's, uh, she's bumped into Jerry. Well, well, what's he doing back here? How should I know? Well, who's Jerry? None of your business. He was his cellmate. Really? You didn't have to tell him. Well, it's not a secret. Look, can I have some peace now, please? I need to call the solicitors, set up a meeting to go through the contract. I don't see why we need anyone else interfering with this business. You don't have to involve her in any of the meetings or any of that. You just take her money and keep her out of all the decision-making. It's a win-win. What's it got to do with you? Robert's right. We'll have her money, but not her input. We should make a list of names. It's a bit early for that. 
That's a big decision. I don't want us to rush into it and then regret it. He's going to have to live with it for the rest of his life. That's a good point. I'm sick of hearing about this thing. He's not a thing. He's your cousin. You know, why don't we uh, go talk about baby names somewhere quieter? Why are you letting him hang around here all the time? For Rebecca. It's not just that, though, is it? I mean, I've seen you cozying up to him. Don't know what you mean. <laughs> are you drinking with him? Changing your mind about this silent partner woman? I mean, why are you listening to him? Has he got something on you? Don't be ridiculous. I know how he operates, OK? So you just tell me what it is and I can help you. The baby needs a father. That's all there is to it. Are you sure your granddad's not going to mind? Well, it's just a couple of eggs and a bit of flour, so... Well, yeah, but you're meant to be working. Ah, but I am. And you're helping me with my new idea of business breakfasts. Well, isn't it a bit late for breakfast? Well, you're saying you don't want any? It just depends what kind of business you're on about. <clears throat> well, I think the breakfast part can wait. I'm not even that hungry. Right! Belle, no. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Belle, don't. <laughs> oh, oh, right, yeah, fine, I surrender. <laughs> I love you. Could I just send me a link? <laughs> Don't sound too grateful, are you? I mean, anyway, that's got the local classes written on it. Yeah, but hypnobirthing. It's a bit out there for you. Yeah, well, I'm not the one pushing it out. And I just thought it might be your kind of thing. It is. In fact, it's very thoughtful. Thanks. I think we might have interrupted a moment here, so, um, why don't we grab this and get out their way? It's more like they're having a tiff to me. Just grab the mugs and stop teasing them. Uh. I need to go. I've got loads of studying to do. What about the pancakes? Another time. <laughs> it's not in. Grandad, it's uh. It's me, can you give me a call as soon as you get this? Because it's uh. It's urgent, so. There's no prizes for guessing what that's about. Well, you'll find out soon enough. Let's just cut to the chase. Where's the camera? It's in the desk drawer for you. Actually, wait. Sorry, it's in the kitchen. Oh, wait. No, it's in the dining room. Oh, no. That's it. I remember. I'm not going to give it to you. You think this is funny? <laughs> you think it's OK to spy on us? It's there for security after what happened with Tim. Yeah, of course it was. And now I want it back. Sure. Just as soon as Grand had seen it. <laughs> Lachlan, I really... Don't want to make things difficult for you. <laughs> All right, okay. So now we've got to the point where you're threatening me. Well, what are you going to do, Robert? Let me think. Um, <laughs> well, that's right. I'll tell Belle you had it away with a prostitute. How'd that be? You haven't got a single bit of evidence that I did anything, because get this, all right? I didn't. And Belle knows that you hate my guts. So if you lie, I deny. Who's she going to believe? Well played, Mr. Blofeld, but uh, I think we should wait and see what Grandad says, shall we? So now she's. Take it, Grandad's not back with Rebecca yet. Sadly, no. Black and white. When they get back, I can tell them all about your hidden camera. Oh, and about your pathetic attempt to at blackmail me as well. Ooh, we are Mr. Motivated, aren't we? Of course, that would mean your dark little secret will be out in the open too, and there's nothing to stop Belle finding out after that. In fact, I'd make sure of it. Do you want me to burst your bubble again? I've already told you that. Yeah, 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 you're completely innocent. Actually, I've got something to show you. Or rather, someone. You remember Lachlan, right? Yeah, of course I do. Hiya, Lachlan. How did you manage to, uh... I think the how is the least of your problems. Well, it doesn't change anything. 
I mean, I only met her once and nothing happened, so... Well, that's not what she said. And it wasn't just the once, either. She said you're one of her favourite clients. Oh, it's a lie. You know it's a lie. Well, what are you saying? That I... I paid her to say it? <laughs> that's shocking. You're sick. I didn't do anything. Are you willing to risk that with Belle, are you? Because I can remember you saying that you didn't do lots of stuff when it turns out you did. I mean... It was all that business with Alicia. You sure? All that. Ooh, it wasn't me, Gov. I'm innocent. And it turns out it was, and you weren't. I mean it. I mean, seriously, you said it yourself. Who's Belle going to believe? Who's anyone going to believe now that I've got the expert witness? Let's pop to the test, shall we? Hi. Who's this? That's an interesting question. This is, um, Tiff, and she's... A cleaner. Yeah, she's a... a cleaner. Really? Yeah. She, uh... She heard we were hiring, so... Ooh. Brace yourself. This could be utterly horrendous. Oh, how scary can a load of pregnant women be? Yeah, you worked for it before. No, I just hate the whole awkward group thing. It's like the first day of school, but with more stretch marks. We're gonna own this, all right? We'll be top of the class, you'll see. Oh, yeah? You've been swatting up on hypnobirthing, have you? Well, you know me. If I'm gonna do something, I like to be prepared. Well, except you weren't six months ago, which is pretty ironic. <sighs> Lucky, I think we're all past that now. Yeah. It's not really appropriate, to be honest, for you to be commenting on my sex life. OK, well, I'm going to go. Trying to see Belle, so. oh, How's that going, by the way? Enjoy. I meant something cute could have killed Chrissy yesterday. But I'll tell her and Rebecca that I gave him no choice about coming back, and I'm pretty sure they'll be relieved to hear it. The man's dead. How can you be so calm? I keep thinking about Ronnie. He'd be appalled. Oh, Ronnie was a lovely bloke, but he was weak. He'd either let you go to prison for protecting your family. That's what we've done. We've... You know I couldn't do any of this without you. We make a great team. How was the hotel? Oh, well, never mind that. Yeah, what did the police say? Uh, we didn't call them. Why not? Well, bring them if you want. When Tim tells them that you and Jerry kidnapped him, assaulted him, and stuck him in the boot of a car, who do you think they're going to lock up first? All right. He won't be back if he knows what's good for him. <laughs> so where is he? Making a new life for himself, I hope. Well, that's what we thought last time. I'll tell you what. If I start to look worried, that's when you panic. Till then, consider him well paid and gone. How are you anyway after yesterday? You cuts or bruises? No, well, thanks to you, no. <laughs> Credit where it's due. Here, here. Crisis over. Now, let's, uh, let's get back to normal. If my name were Andy Warhol, this lot would be worth a fortune in the art world. Nope, don't get it. You are a crass individual. Hey, sorry I'm late. <laughs> hey, how's Daddy's girl? <laughs> She's been OK. Full of beans. <laughs> Who are you texting? Belle again? Uh, yeah, she's just wishing me good luck for later. Why? What's happening? Driving lesson. I've booked a double one, so... Well, let's hope you've improved since the incident with her pigs. Of out house hunting? The bailiffs are on high alert. Yes, it's hilarious, us being homeless. <laughs> your father's got lots of rooms, and they're all free. That's hardly homeless, is it? Yeah, well, your plant Jimmy didn't help upping the bidding. I should make a complaint. Can we just get the auction over to him? Oh, yes, the Court of Appeals aren't busy. They'll welcome you with open arms. What about these new luxury apartments in Leeds? I know the developer is really overstretched himself. You should storm in with a cheeky offer. He's pretty desperate. And your dad was saying only the other day how much better you two have been getting on now you're not together 24-7. I'm overwhelmed by your depth of concern. Chrissy, I know what it's like to suddenly find yourself with nowhere to live, right? Your sister's about to drop my kid. We should try and get on now. You know he just wants us to leave the village. Yeah, well, we'll live where we want. Oh, well, it suits Robert. Come on. Say bye. Yeah. Fake news. Or clickbait, as Lucky calls it. I panicked. I thought they'd found Tim. 
Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have shown you that. No, it's, uh... It's all right. It's, uh... It's everywhere. It's haunting me. You know, one good thing is I've got you to talk to about it. I'm trying to keep myself busy. Less thinking time. I'm trying to take my mind off it. Well, uh... Why don't you tell me about your idea now? If that's not insensitive on me, I'm... Oh, of course not, no. Um, the hottest trend in the UK is eco-glamping, apparently. Um, and if we invested in a few TPs under the stars, we could sell holiday adventure packages. Have you got any figures? I'm still doing the costings for it at the moment. But uh, maybe we should keep this between us for now. Uh, but in principle, what do you think? You'll never guess what this little sneak's gone and done. He's only passed his driving test. First time, just saying. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us who was today? Well, I was nervous enough without you lot making a massive deal. Well, that's wonderful news. Well done, Lucky. Thanks. Maybe now we can discuss what car you're going to get me, like you promised. Why don't you tell Dad the other good news? We've decided to take you up on your very generous offer and move back in here permanently. Fantastic. We should have a double celebration. <laughs> Lachlan's right. I hate to admit it, but he is. There are obstacles to overcome, but... You know me. I can make it work. Please, you, please, you have to just give me a chance to prove myself. You already have. Look, hey. You, you don't need to worry about this. Focus on what's important. You know, Rebecca and the baby. I am doing. I want my son to be proud of me, but I mean, how can he be? If, if he knew the truth, if he knew what I've done for this family, I've killed a man. And I have to live with that. I'm so sorry. I wish there was something that I could do to take that away from you. So do I. I don't know you want to be capable of something like that. I didn't have a choice, did I? Had to do it for you. And I'll always be grateful. <laughs> you know, I... I don't know how I'd have got through the last few weeks without you by my side. You're my rock. Get away from him. I heard what you were saying to him. What's he got to be grateful for? Nothing. Are you and him? Because you look like you were about to... I, I can't even think about that. You two had it. We weren't. You know, I knew something was up. And now I get it. He'll do anything to get his hands on this place, even sleep with you. What, you have any idea how disrespectful that is to your granddad? You did the same to my mum. You married her for the money. Has he proposed to you yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why can't you see what he's like? This is how he operates. You've got it all wrong. Open your eyes, Grandad. He's using you. Do you seriously think he'd touch you if you weren't rich? Is everything all right? No. No, it's not. I've just caught Robert and Grandad all over each other. <laughs> Why would I be making it up? Because you want rid of me. I mean, you don't seriously believe any of this stuff, do you? I I'm finding it hard to imagine. Thank you. It's just a misunderstanding, and I can't blame Lachlan for getting it wrong. I know what I saw. Which was what, exactly? Us talking. Yeah, there really was no more to it than that. Only because I walked in. You know, you need to be careful about the kind of accusations you're making. So they weren't actually doing anything? Can we just calm down everyone? Because I think that he's just misread the situation. No, I didn't. You weren't there. Look, Robert has got his faults. He has many faults, but I will... I will say this, that when he wants to sleep with someone, he does it because he wants to, because he can't help himself, because cheating is in his blood. What's your point? My point is that you're not attracted to Dad, so you never would have slept with him. He'd do anything if he thought there was a big enough payout. I know you hate Robert, and lying about him I'm used to, but lying about Dad is taking it too far. What is wrong with you? Why can't you see what he's like? How stupid are you? No, just calm down, calm down. She doesn't need all this kind of stress. <laughs> Robert's right! Might have known you'd take his side. You can't see what he's doing. You're all over him and he finds it repulsive. As if he'd look twice at an old man like you, it's pathetic. Stop it. We know you're gay, Grandad. You don't have to live in the closet anymore, so why don't you just tell us what you've been up to with him? That's enough! 
I've told you before, there's nothing between Robert and me. And I will not be called a liar in my own house! I want you out of here. I think that's a really good idea. I think you need to go for a walk. Calm down. I don't mean just a walk. He's not moving back in after this. I'm going for a drive. I want him gone when I get back. You can't blame yourself. I don't know what's got into him. Things... Things are just getting back to normal. Still here? I know I'm right about you. It's a bit nobody believes you. Not even your mum. I don't see her running out here offering to come with you. Still, at least they haven't taken your car. You could sleep in that. Face it, you're lost. Granddad? You okay? I actually came in here to apologise to you. To try and get back in your good books. But, uh, look at the state of you. I used to respect you. Used to look up to you. But do you really think I'm gonna respect you after this? You're a disgrace. You're just a saggy old drunk spewing out lies trying to turn everyone against me. Maybe I should do everyone a favour and put you out your misery. I wonder what it'd be like to see you breathe your last breath. To watch as the oxygen leaves your lungs and your lips turn blue. You know, you couldn't look any uglier, any more pitiful than you do right now. It might actually be an improvement. Well, well, well. What are you doing? Looking out for Lawrence. Just as well, really, when his own grandson's threatening to kill him in his sleep. No, 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 don't even bother. I heard every word. I mean, I knew you were weird, but I don't think you go this far. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? I should do everyone a favour and put you out of your misery. Well, I didn't actually do it, did I? You seem pretty close to me. What are you filming him for, you little sicko? Believe what you like. I'm not answerable to you. No, no, you're not. I mean, it doesn't matter what I think, does it? Dan Lawrence will take it that well, though. I mean, you are hanging on by a thread as it is. Tell him what you want. If he can't see through you by now, then he deserves everything he gets. Which is what? What are you going to do? What, are you going to smother him in one of them cushions? You're going to stove his head in with that figurine? It's just as well I was here, really, isn't it? I've done you the favour of a lifetime. You don't need to thank me, OK? I'm sure Grandad will be grateful enough for all of us. Princess? Nice car. Just get in. You're gonna have to come up with a better pickup line than that, mate. Rebecca's gone into labour. What when? Just now. My mum and granddad are in the ambulance with her, so. Ambulance? Why have we called an ambulance? Because it's early and she's about to drop, that's why. 
And as much as I don't want to be stuck in a car with you, Grandad said to come and get you, so... No, you, you just go ahead. I'm going to follow you. No, way. Robert, there's no time for that. It's the first pregnancy. Apparently she's going to be in labour for hours. She's lost a lot of blood. Well, why didn't you say? Because you didn't ask. Now get in. Who'd have thought it, eh? Me back in the bosom of the family. Lawrence on side. You know what the best bit is? Being back on top. Be that more sick. Does it? Just a little, little bit. I'll tell you what, seeing as we're both stuck here, why don't we have a quick head count, see who's on Team Rob, just to pass the time, eh? Lawrence, obviously. Rebecca, and the father of a child. Oh, and let's not forget your mother. I'm not saying she's my biggest fan, but I'm working on that. Remind me again, who have you got on your team? Hey! <coughs> Careful. About to be a daddy, remember? I'm gonna give Lawrence something he's never had before. Blood grandson. Where are you going? What are you doing? Slow down, you idiot. Look, if you're trying to scare me, you are. <clears throat> what, what are you doing? You're gonna try and kill us both? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you absolute lunatic! You could have killed us both! Get up! Get out! You know, I could kill you right now if I wanted to. Just one smack with this and that'd be it. I have always wondered what it would be like to kill someone. That's why I was toying with the idea of topping Grandad yesterday. But here's the thing. I can't decide whether to do it quickly or to string it out. Watch him squirm, what do you reckon? Look, just, just tell me what you want and you can have it. A bit of respect would be nice. You've got it. Good. Because if I don't get it, I'll kill you. Might not be now, might not be tomorrow, but I will kill you. In the end, I promise you. Okay, so Robert, what is it that I want? Respect. Say it again. Respect. Louder! Respect! By the way, I was lying about Rebecca going into labour. Good luck getting back. Good to have you back, Lucky. And uh, I'm sorry for telling you to leave the way I did. I was wrong. No, I was. Hey, forgotten already. Ah, just in time. We're toasting Lucky's return. Yeah, don't worry, I'm drinking orange juice. What have you done to your face? Oh, I, I cut myself shaving. <coughs> I was just telling Grandad how sorry I am. I guess I owe you an apology as well. Will you stop it, please? From now on, I'm not looking backwards. To the future, then. I'll drink to that. Yeah, me too. The future it is. But I am not over it. You know you don't work here, right? I asked Robert to go through a couple of contracts for me. What? Why didn't you say you needed help? Sure, me and Lachlan could have done it just as well. Robert had worked with the client before, and I thought his inside knowledge would be an advantage. It, it's OK. I, I don't want to tread on anyone's toes. Hope I'm not interrupting. Kath, hi. I didn't think that we had an appointment. No, no. I just wanted to see Robert. I need to apologise for the way I spoke to him yesterday. Oh, no, no. It's OK. Don't worry about it. What's this? Kath was concerned about our projections, but Robert managed to put her mind at rest. Oh, 
How kind. Perhaps I can make it up to you by buying your coffee somewhere. Yeah, sounds good. Um, no, just do you mind if I have a look at that contract later? Of course. No rush. Great. I'll let you lead the way. Wonder how that's gonna go. Hmm, me too. So Robert's just turned up the loan more baby stuff. I'm sure you don't need her. Have you heard what Grandad's planning? I'm proposing giving Robert shares in home farm estates. Well, I, I know he's ticking all the boxes as new dad, but we don't have to reward him, do we? Well, it's not just a gift. It's a stake in his son's future. Robert should be putting his business brain to work for us here, not, not migrating to Slough. So you're bribing him to stay, basically, because he won't do it for Rebecca and his kid? He can't stay without prospects. Hey, thanks. He's doing that routine thing, you know, when he wants his mum. Yeah. <laughs> So, shall I go? No, actually, Robert, uh, this concerns you. As Sebastian's father, you are and will forever be connected with this family. So let's have no more talk of Slough. And come and join us. We would like to give you 10% of the business. Well, what do you think? I think, um, I, I think he needs feeding. No, I've told you where I... Welcome, welcome. I get that you're angry with me, that... I get that you're finding it hard to forgive me, but for the baby... Like you give a toss about the kid. This was just a way for you to worm your way back into the business. You know what it cost me. Yeah, worth it for that 10% though, eh? It's not for me, it's for Sebastian. <laughs> you think he's gonna get any of it? Some bratty little baby. I've dealt with all the grief from this family for the last 17 years. I'm entitled to some compensation. What? You think I'm in it for the fun? Our family's a screw-up compared to normal ones like Bell's. The Dingles aren't normal. Why? Because they didn't want you. Aaron saw through your act same way I can. You're just a pathetic loser who only cares about money. Once, maybe, yeah. But not anymore. <sighs> Will you just stop with the bleating? I've told you, I'm gonna destroy you. And you'd better believe it. The biggest favor you could have done for Sebastian was leave. Coffee? Oh no, I've already had about a gallon of this stuff. I'd best swerve it. Oh, I am so jealous. I'm still breastfeeding, aren't I? So coffee is a definite no-no. Oh, unlucky. Uh, is that what I think it is? Ah, yes. Perks for the job. Classy. So, uh, how's he been? Good as gold. Thankfully, he's really easy to get to sleep. It's for long, though. I understand what they say about kids taking over. Exit Rebecca, enter Seb's mum. You okay? Yeah, it's just, you know, for someone so small, he has a large appetite. I've even started giving him some formula to help fill him up a bit more. Well, that's good if it means you get a break. You know, in fact, um, why don't I take him for a bit? Yeah, you know, it's about time young Mr. Sutherland got to know his dad. I'm not trying to be funny, but we did agree he was going to be a wife. Oh, no, 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 it's just a turn of phrase, but seriously, no, but what do you reckon? I could take him to the Woolly, like, out to a club or two. Yeah, if you're sure. Apart from the clubs, obviously. Of course. OK, better go get him some milk sorted for you. They're joys. She might be buying it, but I know your game. This whole doting daddy thing is just another con, isn't it? Look, mate, whatever you think of me, all I want is to be a good dad. The only reason you're still hanging around is so you can get your hands on more shares. I'm not going to rest until you're out of our lives for good. Now, I know I've not always been honest with you in the past. A small but perfectly formed understatement. But the truth is, Seb's the only good thing I've got going on in my life, which is why I want to make sure that I do the right thing for him. So I'm giving him my stake in Home Farm. Seriously? 
Yeah, seriously. This way everything stays in the family. Not like you to walk away. The shares will stay in a trust until Seb gets to 21. He's all that matters to me. Not any job. Good man. I'm impressed. Impressed? Are you for real? Am I the only one here who can see that he's playing you all? I'm on to you. So you've been acting like you're okay with Robert, and then I discover that you threatened to kill him. Maybe that wipes smile off your face. Anger management boot camp. Yeah, you booked in next week. Dream on. Lucky you are out of control. I can't keep pretending it's not a problem. This is your last chance. You do this course, or I will wash my hands of you. Oh, look, here he is, Mr. Wonderful. You come anywhere near my son again, and I will kill you. Do it. At least I won't have to put up with you lot. Look, Lachlan, why can't you understand? We're all on the same side here. Okay, you can't keep taking things out on my son. It's just not right. It's OK. He won't do it anymore. You know what? If you lot want to act like we're all one big happy family, then fine. But count me out. Oh, come back here! I'm crashing at Bells from now on. Not your problem anymore. Lachlan, when did you get back? Yesterday. Why? Did you miss me? Lucky I'll handle this. My dad do that to you yesterday. Letting an old man duff you up. You're losing your touch. I didn't come here for another argument. Then I suggest you leave. I'm Seb's dad, OK? You can't just cut me out. Oh, but I can. And when he's old enough, I'll tell Seb his dad's dead. It'll be less painful than telling him the truth. Right, I really didn't want to have to go down the legal route, Rebecca, but I will if I have to. Actually, that won't be necessary. Look, whatever's happened between all of us, we have to put Seb first. It's his needs that we need to think about now. Right, so you want to play happy families all of a sudden? No, I hate you more than I ever did. But I love that boy more than anything, and for his sake, I think that we need to put all animosity to one side. Agreed? Yeah. Yeah, of course. OK. Well, then maybe you two can talk about it like adults. Maybe on neutral territory, like the cafe at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Well, um, thanks. I'll, I'll see you there. That wasn't part of the plan. No. But I want to have a bit of fun with him first. We don't know where she is. You know, I don't believe that. But the point is, is I'm not even asking. And what are you doing, then? I bought these for Seb. Don't punish him for what I've done. Well, you should have thought of that before. Look, can you just take them, please? So when you do see him, whenever that is, he'll at least know that I'm thinking of him. <laughs> He's a baby. All he knows is when it's feeding time. You mean nothing to him. Oh, Myra. You looking for someone? Yeah, a normal person. Obviously, no look so far. You should be careful how you talk to me. Or what? Move! Hello? Hello? Aaron? <coughs> Hello? <sighs> what are you doing? Whatever I like. Where's Aaron? Get out! <laughs> Make me. What's this? It's fun. Have you... Have you given me something? We've all given you something, Robert. Years of our lives. And what do we get back in return, eh? Lies, cheating, schemes. You've struck me. It's not your thing, isn't it? Why can't I? Stay calm, go with it. You got my text then? Hey, sir. Hey, How you doing? Right, come on in.
Rebecca, what the hell are you doing letting Sugden have Seb? What are you on about? Seb's out with Vic. I don't care, all right? Just come down here and sort it out, because if you don't, I will. <sighs> I know it's been a while, but I've been thinking about you every day. I promise you. You've got, like, five minutes, Robert. Ten, Max, if Rebecca finds out. I know. Thank you. I reckon he's got your eyes. You think so? Yeah, they've got that look. Like he's up to no good. No. No, not this one. It's not a bad bone in your body, is there? Hey. All right! All right! Do you seriously think you can just get away with it? Come on, don't do this. Do what? Stop you from kidnapping Rebecca's kid. It's my son, Lachlan. It's hardly kidnap. Oh, you were taking him to the park, not home to rob it. I trusted you, Vic. Come on, Bex. All I want is to spend a bit of time with him. We've been through this. Well, why do you send me that Christmas card from Seb if you don't want me to have anything to do with him? Please tell me you didn't. Oh, great. So now you're just encouraging him. Whatever's gone on between me and you, it's not Seb's fault. Stopping me from seeing him, it isn't fair on him. When have you cared about what's fair? Leave it, Lachlan. There's no harm done, I suppose. What, and that's it? You're just going to let him get away with it? Are you pathetic? Thank you. What do you want? It's where I found this. Um, Seb must have thrown out the pram. Great. You can go now. Is Rebecca in? I don't think she wants to see you. Please, Lachlan, I'm, I'm trying to do the right thing here. You don't get it, do you, Robert? You're done. Finished. I mean, you might as well forget Seb even exists because you're never going to see him again. Tell you what, when he's old enough, I'm going to tell him all about his darling daddy. Don't go there. About your jailbird ex, the lies, the cons, the way you cheated on one, the fact you didn't even want him to exist. With a bit of luck, he'll end up hating you as much as I do. <coughs> Come on then, Robert. What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to rise to it, Lachlan. completely lost it. Oh, come on, Bex. Don't Bex me. We should call the police. Yeah, damn right we should. He did this himself. I, I didn't touch him. Oh, come on, Lucky, I feel sick being in the same room as him. But please. You know, when I saw you earlier with Seb, I actually thought that maybe you changed. I have. Oh, you might have tried. It's just not possible, is it? Just go, Robert, and don't come back. I just can't find them. They'll be in a pocket or something. No, I can't go anywhere without my pills. You really need a better suitcase. I love you so much. I promise you, you're not going to regret this. You're still bleeding. Yeah, I know. Sir? The sooner we get on the road, the sooner we can get him an ambulance. All right, this is, this is just bad timing. What, is this you? Is this who you've always been all this time? What do you mean? All the time we've been together, Lachlan, I don't understand. Who else could I have been? I'll close up for you. No, I need my medication. Well, you'll just have to get some more. I can't just get some more. Please, just let me call him an ambulance. I've told you, all right, when we've left. And nothing's changed. You know, I said I'd do anything for you, and I have. And when things have needed doing, even when they've been hard, I've done them. Just so you and me could be together.
Nothing's changed, Belle. So really, a, a bit of gratitude. It'll be fine. I'll shut. I'm gonna help you until I can get you to a doctor's. I think Lachlan's gone, but Sam, where's your phone? Because I really need your phone. Uh, I don't know. Oh my god, Robert! Flat door's open. Lachlan's got a gun. He's flipped, hasn't he? Well, where is he? I don't know. He was, he was outside, and then he's. You're not looking too good, mate. I know. He needs to get to hospital. Lach Lachlan's attacked him. Sam saw him. He's got Terza's body. Lachlan's killed him. We just. We all need to get out of here now. Okay, listen to me. Help me barricade that door to keep him out and then I'm gonna go and get help, all right? It's all gonna be okay, yeah? All right, Sam, we're gonna get you an ambulance. All right, it's gonna be here soon, I promise. I don't understand why people keep interfering. It's our life, Belle. It's our business, you know, but everyone has to have a say in everything we do. Please stop shouting. What? I'm not shouting at you. Why would I do that? Look. You said that you'd let us get some help. Please, let's just ring an ambulance now. How many times do I have to tell you? I'll call them once we've left. But right now, I need time to think. But let's start thinking now, Lucky. Don't call me that. Well, that's what you need, isn't it? A bit of luck. Because <laughs> you certainly don't have much time. Sure. Robert. They'll be here soon, the police. I rang them. You're lying. Well, feel free to take that chance. Did he call them? Well, I don't know, Lachlan, but can we just please stop all of this now? Just listen to her, mate. We can sort this. Tell me what happened with this... Tozer bloke. It was, was it an accident? It must have been. You're a good kid. <laughs> what? All you've ever done is screw things up for me. Everything. It all comes back to you. You've had a rough time, Lucky, I know. And I'll tell them, the police. Hey, I'll come with you. We're not going anywhere. And nobody's coming. You don't scare me, Lachlan. <laughs> this is me, remember? I do. I do remember. This is me, Robert. And I'll kill you. Only unlike the others, I'll actually enjoy this one. What others? Please! What others? Didn't I tell you to shut up? Who else, Lachlan? Doesn't matter. It does if you're dead. Yeah, well... Some people are like cockroaches, aren't they? Just refuse to die. Like me, you mean? Oh yeah, because everything's always about the, the mighty Robert Sugden. Liv was right. About the carbon monoxide poison, it was you, wasn't it? Please, no. Well, you're still here, aren't you? But why would you do that? I mean, what about Seb? Well, he wasn't in, obviously. Look, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for Liv. 
She's an interfering bitch. What? You mean those texts she sent you? Yeah. Yeah. But I thought they were Tozer. Making me think he knew about Jerry. But the stupid cow wasn't even on about that, was she? Liv tricked me into doing it. What's Jerry got to do with any of this? And what did he think Toza knew? The roof. It wasn't just an accident, was it? Oh, God, no. No, come on, he was our friend. You don't understand. You, you didn't kill him, though, did you? I had no choice. Oh, God, no. Why, Jerry? Jerry was our friend. Why, just, Jerry? You should stop crying. Jerry was our friend. Why? Shut up! <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Why, why don't you get that? Maybe because you're waving a gun in her face. I did this for us, Belle, for you, so we could, so we could be together. Oh, you cannot make this my fault. You... No, it's not your fault. It's Mum's. And his. How? We were leaving because of you. I did it because of you. Did what, Lachlan? Mum was forcing me to go with him. To get away from him. And I, I didn't want to leave you, but she just had to get around where she had to. Which is why she told you about me in the attic. That's because she was worried about you. No, she wanted you to think I was sick. So you'd end it. She lied, she was she was controlling, she was selfish, and she she just couldn't let us be happy. Oh my god. You made a crash. I'd lost you. <gasps> I'd lost any reason to live. I, I wanted to be dead. I didn't plan it, I, I just did it. She got what she deserved. And Lawrence, did he deserve it too? That was Mum's fault, because of what she did to us. What had Jerry done? Well, he wouldn't stay quiet. He knew? He kept saying things. Dropping hints, making jokes, going on and on, and I, I knew you'd realise. Oh, come on, please, can you just let us go? I love you. <laughs> Belle, why can't you see? That that's what all this has been for. I'm sorry it happened, all of it. But I just wanted to protect us. Belle is a grown woman now, you know, old enough to make her own choices. <laughs> She's out like our Debs, you'll be tearing your hair out, most of them. That sounded like it came from our house. Come on, Monty. Ambulance, as fast as you can. We're on the Skipdale Road. Oh, I'm not exactly sure how far down. I'm so sorry. What did you do? I let him look up. Belle, Belle, wake up, please. I, I don't think she's breathing. She's not breathing. We'll check her pulse. I can't feel anything. But look, she needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth and chest compressions. The ambulance is on its way, right? You killed her. Lachlan, she needs help. Is this payback? This is my punishment, right? No, she, she ran out in front of us. She was all I had. Yeah, and what about Bex? Is she alive? Because we know she never went to Wales. Where is she, Lachlan? Did you kill her too? She remembered that you killed Mummy and Grandad. That why you did it. No, she remembered she needed to dump you. You think this is funny? She had a kid! She had a life and you stole it from her! You already smashed her brains in, was that not enough? Ross. Where is she? <laughs> That'll be the ambulance. It's close. Oh, I'm here, um... Don't move. You might make it worse. Just... just stay still. You'll be all right. Contact! Up, please! 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 Up, 
Leave the gun exactly where it is. Put your hands above your head. Hands above your head now! Look who it is. There's no need to stand to attention. I think you'll find me all pretty informal there. Cheer up, brother. Not that bad in there. In fact, you do great. Make someone a, a lovely girlfriend. We both know you like it better off. <laughs> anyway, I'm here now. You're uh, Rebecca's. Wherever she is. Did you hear that, Robert? I heard. Not gonna ask me anything? Or did you just come to spend a bit of time with me? I want you to stop playing games. I want you to do the right thing and put an end to all this. And tell me where Rebecca is. Nobody gets nothing for nothing. So, uh, why don't you entertain me first? You know, you've always been a sick little boy, Lachlan. But I don't see you as the chopping up type. Warmer still. You've locked her somewhere. A barn. Oh. You were doing so well. What a shame. Then again, I'm such a liar. Maybe I did bury her. You know, I know people, Lachlan. I know people who know people. And I could make a few phone calls, and I could turn every day here into a living horror show. You know what I find hilarious? <laughs> if you just hurried up and died when you were supposed to, then I wouldn't have had to worry about Rebecca. I don't even... She got it in her head that Seb was in the house. I knew he wasn't. I knew it was just you in there. And live, filling your lungs. Your veins all heavy with carbon monoxide. Anyway, you know what she could be like. Ever since the accident, you know, she just didn't take your word for it. She didn't see sense. So she walked in. She saw us. Man, live. Inconveniently breathing. Just my look, isn't it? You just have to cling on. You know what you like? You like one of those fish that's still gasping for air half an hour after you've dragged it out of the water. You just. Oh, Lachlan, what's happened to them? Oh my god, we have to call an ambulance. And... <sighs> Over your dead body. And Liz. So there I am. I've got Rebecca in the boot of my car, and you and Liv are croaking for air on your floor. And Mum used to call me lucky. <laughs> well, is that it then? You got anything else to say? You 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 done? Lachlan, you've told me everything now. Why can't you just tell me where the body is? There is no body, you dimwit. I never killed her. There's nothing here. I thought you'd be pleased. What is this? It's got to be your plans for your, your weird bottom family. Where is she? Might want to check with Aaron first. I'm not sure he'd be so happy about her turning up. Let me tell you something. I know what it... I know what it's like to live with a dead woman on my conscience. You think it's easy? I think about Katie every day, every single day. It's come close to killing me. And trust me, Lachlan, I'm way stronger than you are. It's too late for me now. No, it's not. It's not. What happened to your mum and your granddad? That was different. 
you lost it. And anyone could lose it in a moment. And then you panicked, and one thing led to another. But that's over. It's history. Now, you've got an actual choice to make. You can save Rebecca, you can do the right thing, you can help yourself. This is the moment you'll always look back on. This is when you decide what the rest of your life is about. Hope or shame. Do it, Lachlan. Tell me. Tell me where she is. Visit's over. Excuse me. Um, mm. Said visit's over. Well, sir. Robert. I'll tell you. 